a quiet obedient and a traditional girl whose life's path was already decided by her family she went with the flow studied well worked hard and left her first job to get married and settle down there are few people who question the stereotype rise and lead the change the most important question that she asked herself was what next and what she did after that was truly amazing and she has never stopped from asking herself that question for the last 18 years because she rediscovered herself grown as a leader and impacted people's lives let's welcome nalini krishnan salesforce competency head at tcs in our spotlight segment hi molly how are you hi kiran i am good thank you how are you i'm good i'm good nalini i i think we have met four times uh, in tcs uh, we were running these workshops salesforce days uh, all the four times we met uh, we have seen you draped in a beautiful indian saree and we were truly impressed with what we saw because you know it's become uncommon these days what on a lighter note what's the thought process <laughs> kiran i think given that we are all indians and sari is a part of the culture i think the question should be why we don't see more people in sarees but yeah uh, humor aside um, i think it's just about being comfortable about who you are and carrying your Uh, full self wherever you go um it's it's a part of me i am comfortable in the sari i am comfortable in my skin and uh, i just thought why not should this not reflect it in in the professional self as well um ideally it shouldn't matter your attire shouldn't matter ultimately what matters i think is my thoughts my beliefs and my actions but to answer your mm-hmm. question yes there was a time where uh, i think all of us try to somehow fit in to the culture that is uh, that we are getting into and there was a time when i also tried fitting into the uh, more of a global culture and a western culture i would say thanks to tcs it has uh, brought out a lot of indianness in me and uh, the the sari is a small part of it so tcs allowed you to be yourself awesome that's 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 a great response nalini because you know a lot of people can take inspiration from it especially the women nalini which which comes to my next question you you lead a huge competency of sales force in tcs right and you have grown grown in the ranks as a leader in the last 15 to 20 years what are those very important leadership lessons you have learned along the way Oh, lots of them, Kiran. Lots of them. If I were to put it very um, concisely, I think uh, the belief that everybody who you meet, uh, personally or professionally, is is trying to figure out something, is trying to be successful. When you connect with people with that belief, with a, a positive curiosity to learn, mm-hmm. right? Uh, not curiosity to prove something or prove yourself right or judge somebody. i think uh, that's that's a huge part of a leadership uh, success that i feel because technology yeah. or otherwise um, end of the day you're working with people everybody wants to be successful and everybody wants to collaborate so a lo- uh, a large part of leadership i feel is um, learning uh, wherever you are from whoever you're interacting with and talking mm-hmm. other person's language rather than just mm-hmm. putting across your views and genuinely partnering with them for things that matter to them most i think that is the leadership lesson and um, one of my earlier mentors also uh, told me this and it's been a huge learning a, a, a big part of leadership is also knowing what to ignore so there will be right. a lot of noise you'll have to learn to stay focused and you'll have to kind of devote your um, entire professional uh, activity and day uh, towards uh, co-innovating with people looking at something that is not that is not symptomatic right look at the root cause and see how you can come up with something that uh, will solve the uh, will solve the problem from a from a big right. picture perspective what will solve the problem is what i think leadership is all about awesome thank you so much nalini for that In fact, when I was talking to you the other day, you were talking about one of your women leaders, 
who migrated the old systems to Salesforce. This was 12 years back, maybe 15 years back. And as a leader, you also need to have that vision, as you very clearly said. Thank you. Thank you so much for that, Nalli. And Nalli, uh, TCS has this uh, very interesting concept of e equity versus equality, right? Um, I, I found it to be very interesting when you when you talked to me about it the other day. You know, you want to talk a little about it to our audience today? Sure, Kiran. Sure. Um, yeah, I think as we as the business and the technology is changing every minute today and as new thought processes come you know we call it the new normal we are dealing with new challenges every day i think what is important is leveraging the right skill and the right people for what they can bring to the table and somewhere i feel that um, in the whole rush for equality uh, we sometimes make it a little unfair because you get the feeling that you're do, trying to uh, be uniform or standardize a few things in the name of equality. But what da that does sometimes is kind of suppress some of the talents, suppress some of the inclusion and diversity that is very valuable when you have to be successful. So equity is all about leveraging people for the value add that and the creativity that they bring to the table and not necessarily looking at everybody equally. So equal opportunity, a level playing field is definitely needed. But just equating, you know, apples to oranges really doesn't make sense. You will have to right skill and look at uh, what can a person bring to the table? What can somebody do which I can't? and right. leverage that person for their capacity. So I think a lot more earlier leadership used to be certain authoritative position. Today, I think everybody is a leader in their own right because the, the way technology and especially IT field has contributed to this kind of an you know org structure is uh, mm -hmm. nobody gets paid to do somebody else's job. In the first few years of your career, I think it is about doing well at your field being more efficient but after maybe the first two or three years it's all about being effective it's all about uh, how can you bring some creativity and you do your job and everybody does their job and it all falls into place beautifully like a puzzle and some very good synergies are generated so i think equity plays a role in that because you're not looking at everybody with the same lens right so everybody is a leader and there is no competition. That is what I take from your answer. Thank you. Thank you so much for that, Nalli. Nalli, uh, what is that one advice or suggestion you want to give to the Salesforce developers community in India today or Salesforce developers community in the whole, whole world today? Okay, I think first of all, if folks have made the choice of being uh, in the Salesforce community, I think that's a very good decision um, because the way Salesforce is growing, and uh, the amount of opportunity Salesforce developers have to make their mark and contribute to this whole ecosystem is huge. The fact that it's one of the most innovative companies, I think uh, my, uh, I wouldn't say advice, my suggestion would be that everybody um, show that hunger and thirst to explore more. Uh, they should, they, sh they definitely should rest on their laurels of experience, but then uh, it should only be utilized to show that they are quick at learning rather than saying right. that since they have some experience, they know it all or they can replicate it for you. Salesforce is one technology where I think replication doesn't take you too far beyond maybe a year. Uh, with every new release, uh, developers have the opportunity to master it, excel and co-create the next solution. Uh, secondly, I think Salesforce is one technology which really isn't hung up about a particular programming language or a particular syntax. So it's a huge advantage. Right. I would urge developers to think less about code and just generating apps and think more about end-to-end -end business solutions and the kind of impact they're having on uh, the customer's business. Great advice. Thank you so much for that, Nalli. So, you know, before you go, one tricky question. What are your strengths and weaknesses as a leader, Nalli? 
I think both my strength and weaknesses are in the fact that I'm very curious and I want to keep learning in, uh, every day. I, I have this tendency to uh, get into an ecosystem, learn, figure out, you know, what the bottlenecks and challenges are, uh, streamline it with a team. I've been very lucky to be blessed with amazing supervisors, amazing mentors um, and a great team. So with that kind of, a, you know, top down layer taken care um, i can i can freak out on learning new things experimenting streamlining things so you always keep them moving to the next keep challenge them on, you always keep them on the edge is it i do i do i think that is one <laughs> thing my team will complain about me um, i i push them outside their comfort zone of course i support them with a lot of support and flexibility but uh, you know, the day the day uh, gets very unpredictable in terms of what's going to come today and what are we going to accomplish. They, they will thank you one day. Don't worry about it. Nalli, thank you so much for being part of Dev Talkies today. It was, you know, it was such an inspiring conversation with you. And you are, you are going to, you know, inspire a lot of people who are aspiring to be leaders in the, in the ecosystem as well. Your thirst for learning new things stands out. Thank you so much for that. And we know that you love sarees, uh, which is why we are getting you a nice Bengal cotton saree. Wow. Uh, it, would, it would look totally great on you. So it's a, it's a small gesture from our, from our side through Dev Talkies. I am so thrilled and I am so grateful for this opportunity. Thanks for having me, Kiran. You guys are doing a fantastic job in the Salesforce ecosystem. You are building a very resilient community. And these are some of the values that TCS also shares in terms of, you know, resilience and uh, sustainability. That's why we are both partners, Nalli. Thank you so much Absolutely. for being with us today. Thank you so much. Thank you.